What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we'll be drawing Daisy from Poppy Playtime. Now the best place to start our drawing is at the top of our page with two ovals for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We just want to tilt this in so the top is pointing towards the center of our page. So let's start at the very top, go all the way around towards the bottom, and then pull that back up towards the top. Now you want to take that oval and flip it over on the right. So it's going to line this up. It's going to leave a small gap in between the eyes and go back up towards the top. Let's add a curve along the bottom of the eyes for the eyelid, going up and then down. And I'll trace the top half of the eyes along the inside for the pupil, going up and then pulling that down. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. Now from here, we're going to move out to the side of the eyes and add two long lashes. Let's start over on the left, bend this out, and then up. Let's line this up on the right side. Now you want to add some thickness along the ends. So I'm just going to round this out, come down, just taper that back in. And it'll fill the tops in black. Let's add one more lash. I'm just going to step down, draw that same curve, coming down and up. And then again, we're just going to thicken up the top and just taper that back in. And just filling in the top area. Now we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's start on the left side of the eye, curve the mouth coming down, go across, and then up on the outside of the right eye. Let's add a bracket on the end, start from the corner of the mouth. We're just going to curve this out and then down. Let's shift the bottom of the mouth over towards the right side. So we start out here, bend this down towards the right, round out the mouth, and just pull that up towards the corner. Let's add a seam in the center for the tongue, going out toward the left and down. Let's go to the outside of the eyes and draw the bottom half of the head. We're going to start on the left, bend this around the corner of the mouth, come down, and then in all the way around the right side, going up and then in toward the side of the eye. Let's draw the top half of the head. From the top of the cheek, we're going to step out. We're going to draw this line going up in the middle, round up the head. I'm just going to go across the eyelashes and then bring that back down. Now I want to separate the cheek with a half oval. Let's start underneath the eye, curve this down across the mouth go out and then up. Now on the right side, you just want to go in behind the mouth, continue along the bottom, and then up. Now that we complete the face, let's draw those petals around the head. We're going to start with the one at the very top. We're going to start on the left side, curve this around, go up, and then out towards the right. Let's pull this back in. Just going to round this out and come in. Go back out, down, and then in on top of the head. Let's add a seam in the center. Start from the top of the head, then it's out, and then back across towards the right. Now I'm going to place the eyebrows on top of the petal and the head. Let's start on the top left, go up, and bend that back down in towards the eye, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's add some thickness to the eyebrow. Starting back on the inside, we're going to go up higher in the middle and then taper that back down. Now with that center petal in place, we're going to start layering the others in behind. Let's we'll start on the top left, bend this up and out. Now just like we did up here, we curve this up, bend this down towards the side, come all the way around, 
and bend that in toward the side of the head. Let's add that seam, starting from the side of the head, going out and bending that up. Now I'm gonna take that same pedal and just rotate it over on the right. So it's gonna line up the inside, then it's up and then out. Round up the tip and then bring that back in. Just come all the way around the side, come down and then in, and then we'll add that seam going up and out. Now the pedals on the side, we're just gonna fold them back in. So let's start from the side of the cheeks this out and then down and we'll line this up on the right from the end bump this out go up and just tuck that in underneath let's go back to the end pull this around down and then up underneath the head Let's add two more pedals along the bottom. We're going to start with the one on the right. So starting in the center, then this down, and then out. Let's round up the end, and again, just pulling that back in, and it's out. Just tuck that in underneath. Let's add that seam, going out and then down. Now I want to take that pedal and just rotate it over towards the right. So we're going to start underneath the pedal, Curve this around and then in. Let's round up the tip again, going out, curve this in, and just tuck that up underneath. Let's add one more seam in the center. Let's add another layer of petals in behind. So in this gap here, starting at the top, it's gonna add a curve going up, down, and then back in. Let's add one on the top right, just bending this around and in. Let's add one coming down in the center. Let's draw the body shifted over towards the left. We start on the left side, come down and then out, round up in, and bend that back in. From the bottom of this curve, come in and then down. Now going back up to the top, let's move over towards the right, come down and then out, step back, then it's in and down towards the same height. Now in between these lines, we're gonna step down, add a point, and let's draw the bottom of the leaves. We come down and then up towards the left, go back to the center, come down and then up towards the right. Let's add a fold from the tip, step down, all the way around and then bend that in. And then from the tip, come down and then bend that in towards the bottom. Let's go back to the base of the stem, come down and just tuck that in behind that leaf. Now I'm gonna go back and add in the arms. Let's start with the one on the left, starting in this gap, and then the arm going out, come down, and then in, and then bend that down towards the tip. Now I wanna add some thickness to the arm, so we're gonna start from the tip. It's gonna gradually get thicker as we come back up in behind the pedal. Now we're gonna draw in the leaves. Starting from the left side, bend this around, in, now and draw a bump, going out, come towards the inside, and just curve this back in, aiming towards this point. Let's draw the right arm, starting at the bottom, come down, go up, and then bend that down. Now just like we've done on the left side, we're just going to taper the arm so it gets thicker as we come back up the body. Let's add those same leaves, starting from the bottom, come down, up, around, then it's up, go all the way along the top and aim for this point. 
Once we finished our drawing, we'll sign our artwork and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Daisy from Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.